gonna be probably one of the coldest hunts in my life. We're stalking. We're stalking. There he is. Oh. Oh my God. Feels like we never left it, but it looks a lot different than it did last time. Snow everywhere. It's gonna be probably one of the coldest hunts in my life. Three degrees in the morning. We're gonna go see if we can't get a glimpse of high tower. For now, that's kind of the deer we're going after. So we'll see. We gotta head up there right now. He said he's up there every day by five o'clock looking, so it's 440 right now. We'll get changed really quick and head up there. See if we can find him. See if we can close the chapter in Montana. Finally, couldn't do it with a bow, so we with a rifle. walking kind of to what us. What the heck deer is that? Well, we're back. This is awesome. This is, I've never shot a deer in the snow. I'm hoping this is going to be my first time. It's crazy the difference two weeks makes. It's just covered in snow out here. It's beautiful though. We got a few new new deer that we haven't seen before. High Tower has yet to stand up if he's bedded out there in the cover crop. But we got some options, I think. We'll just have to make a game plan what we want to do in the morning. If we want to go get in the redneck, I think we're going to be in the middle of a couple shooter bucks, potentially. But this is cool. Hopefully this will be a good hunt tomorrow. I'm excited. Well, this coffee is going to be super important this morning. Because it's going to be cold. This is gonna be the coldest weather I've hunted in but we're gonna to go to the redneck this morning just because Hightower has been there whenever Jim is glassed he's seen him there most of the time so we're gonna go sit in there for a couple hours see if we can see him if not get a good beat on him maybe for later this afternoon but if he does what he did yesterday when Jim watched him could be game over We know he loves his cover crop. This is where he was bedding before, you know, before when we were bow hunting here a couple weeks ago. And Jim has seen him several times out in here go to bed in the morning. So I hope that at some point we'll see him this morning or maybe this afternoon. This is a good spot. These deer love crossing in here. Going, he, go, he beds right out here in front of us most days. Hope he does it again. Open a day of rifle season at the Milk River. We just saw High Tower. He bedded down about 400 yards away. It's 916 so we we've yet to see really any deer right here so we don't think there are any deer between us and him brian and i are just going to probably get in that irrigation ditch and just head north try to fill it out see if there are any deer just you know take our time go slow and if he stands up maybe we can you know try to get these shooting sticks up and 
and get a shot off at him, but um, at least we got a glimpse of him. I just kind of think in this redneck, even some of the cover crop is just a little bit high. You know, when I saw him, I could just see his head. So this is where we think we saw him. I think he's right there somewhere bedded down. I just drew this line on the onyx. Here we are in the redneck. It's about 432 yards. If we can get to this point right here in the ditch, I think we should have about a 200 yard shot, maybe a little bit more. As long as he doesn't stand up, just hope he doesn't see us. But that ditch is low enough where I think we're gonna be in a good spot. Cut the distance by about 250 yards. These deer are right on the other side of this ditch in the cover crop. You got them? I do. And there were a bunch of other deer? Yep. I'm just hoping they don't go on the other side of that tree line. I don't think they will, but they will either. I think we can, I mean, definitely get closer. I think you just get in light, right in line with him, almost. Yeah. I, this sounds miserable, but I think we can go another 100 yards, probably. I, I think we can go probably more than that. It's close enough where you get a comfortable shot. These deer have not a clue in the world we're here. I just kind of caught a glimpse of high tower easing off into the trees. There's a bunch of other deer down there just kind of milling around. Unfortunately, right past that row of trees is the property line, so we can't go any any further than that, but still just sitting here trying to pick them out within all those other deer and still have the opportunity, I think, to get even closer if we need to, but. Get a glimpse of them first. Yeah, see if we can, see if we can pick them up. Are they? Some of them are. Yeah, let's get you going. Get you started. Is it? Yeah. Oh, here comes some of the deer. There he is.
I got a good clear shot if you got it right there. Did we drop it? Did he drop? Oh, oh my gosh, man. Holy cow. <sighs> that Cody did it. You think so? I, I never saw him come out on the other side of them willows. I, I think we got it. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. You see him rubbing the trees like that? Yeah. Hopefully we dropped him. I didn't see him. I never saw him go out on the other side. Dude, you think we got him? Yeah. I think I don't think he went on the other side of them willows. I saw a bunch of other deer that were in the willows go on the other side, but I never saw him. Heck, yes. Dude, snow buck. Dude, we got some history that was that a day. stalk. That was. We did. We got a couple years of history with that deer. I cannot wait to get hands on him. He was rubbing that tree. He was the boss of this field. Not today, though. Had you had I already shot when you pulled up? I was here five minutes. Really? And then he was like, I think I just heard a shot. I've said it once and I'll say it again. High tower's down. <laughs> Is that awesome or what? Oh man. Job, Thank you, man. That's well awesome. well I'm glad you made it. I know. Well, yeah, me too. His bags were at the airport. Well they weren't at the airport. They were delayed a little That's bit. Right. So they got here late last night. Yeah, midnight. He was supposed to be here for in time for dinner last night, but he didn't make it. He made it what five minutes? I just timed it right. Five minutes was for the shot. We did it. We did it on purpose. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was on the phone through. with him, and I'm like, I'm watching you guys crawl down the. Did dip. you see him? I said, Oh, hey, I says, Hey, Andrew, I gotta go there. A coyote just ran these. Yeah, that's what he said. He said right, he saw the coyote. He's right like, when it, was it might come right I to was him. On the phone with him yeah. Brian said, This is our it chance. Is, I mean, it's weird when you get down here, though. He looked like he was so much. Further closer. or closer? Yeah. Well, man, I, I probably could have shot him several times right here, and I, like I had my backpack and I was propped up on yeah. it, and I just kept looking at it, and I was like, gosh. I said, man, this grass. I said, I, I probably could. Yeah. But I was like, I just want it to be perfect. Like the deer weren't alert, so I was like, they I'll just give it a little bit of time. One doe, I feel like, right there on the edge yeah. of the willow, yeah. seen you right there. At the she end. did at the end. But, but that was it. Everything else was headed away from you. I, I went and got it. These shooting sticks, I think, were right here. And so I had I to, seen you I, craw that. I crawled back and got them because I said, I'm going to have to have it. He went out of sight for me. Well, he was he was making, a, you're, you're going to love the footage because oh, he was man. just grubbing on a tree all like this. Well, let's, uh, Take a look, let's go see if we can all get right. him. Come here. See his horn? In his belly, right there. <laughs> that sucker's massive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I see him Look now. At that. Holy cow. He's way bigger than I thought. Oh. Holy cow. That is crazy. <laughs> this is unreal. Let me get this gun unloaded. Gosh dang. He didn't break off anything. You know, I see just, just right other here. than yeah, right there and a little I, bit. I don't know that could have been broke. Yeah. It looks pretty fresh. Yeah, it does. That's pretty fresh. It could be when you saw him fight the other day. Yeah, just the other day, just on the other side of the willows here. I I'd like to go look actually. <laughs> see if see if I, something I mean I never did see the deer get up. <laughs> but even these are I mean these are longer than I thought. Yeah. He's in the he's in the one seventies easy. You think so? I do. Yeah, I do. You think he's in the one seventies? Yep, I do. Regardless, this is not even just saying it. This is one of my yeah. favorite deer and uh at one of my favorite places. This is this is awesome. Yeah. This is come out here and did it on the first day. Brian and I both were in the blind and you know, contemplating when we saw when we think we saw him bed down. We said, Did we go in there and try to risk it on the first day but honestly you know we, we saw that the wind was going to be out of the west tomorrow yeah. so if we try to move that redneck it was going to be kind of tough i think getting close in here enough to him and then shooting through all this cover crop 
it's just a uh, you know it's difficult in itself yeah. too and that ditch is was the you perfect made, stalking you made a good decision doing it when you did yeah. stay just like that that's a pretty cool picture just like this you can see everything. you got a lot of underwear we do um we don't need it anymore though. Really? Oh yeah. Awesome. Buddy. It, it was awesome. We uh, did a nice stalk on him. I got to say hello to Jim. Jim, uh, hey. Hey, Bill. Uh, hey, thank you guys for letting us come back and all that good stuff. I know y'all don't mind, but thank you guys. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Pretty awesome hunt this morning. Well, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm tickled. I, that deer had nine lives, as you know. Holy cow. He, uh, it's a good thing he did, though. Wait till you see this one, Bill. <laughs> good? Oh, boy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Way bigger than I, I mean, I, I thought I was giving him quite a bit of credit, but he's, he's bigger than I thought. You know, he reminds me a lot of, uh, uh Jim Kelly's deer. He's just... I, I, so I much mass. I think that's absolutely awesome. This thing is way, way cool. Holy cow, I can't believe it. I can't either. Duh. I just can't believe it. When you hit them through the shoulder, kind of like that. Yeah. Maybe. This is, uh, this is awesome. Early season, but I had the whole season. But it all depended on when the snow came. Oh, well, you were hunting at eleven thousand feet if the snow didn't come. Jeez. Pretty cool. We got the sheds of this deer from last year, and just kind of crazy how much mass. I mean, this deer had to put on thirty inches of mass. Look at that. That is insane. I mean, just crazy how much bigger he got in just a year's time and then, and then you got this right side too I mean he was a good deer last year but nothing what he is this year goodness gracious dad had him at five yards last year when he was like this and I'm glad I'm glad he didn't shoot him he put on some inches kind of a bittersweet deal I mean just feels like it always flies by whenever we come here and, and do this but thank you for everything you bet. we've had a Thanks, as always I feel like I've told you a billion times already we just are so thankful and appreciative and it's been fun the hunting's we'll good but the people like Jim and his family is what kind of just makes this place so special for us just we're all just friends and just love coming out here and spending time with them. Now on to Illinois. Next stop. <laughs>